In this video, I'm going to show you how to make current measurements over time using the microcurrent gold and the Salie Logic 8, and a little bit of magic. As this experiment happened to be on my desk at the time of making this video, I figured it was a perfect opportunity to characterize the current being drawn by the LED driver that I have wired inside. I've connected the first lead from the 5 volt supply on the Arduino into the input of the microcurrent gold. The second lead goes to the voice of the that's feeding the LED pin for the LED driver inside the box here. I can use the microcurrent alone alongside a multimeter that can read down to the millivolt level. In my case, I have my trusty Fluke 179 here that I'm using for this purpose. In milliamp mode, every millivolt on my multimeter is equal to one milliamp. Thus, the about 72.5 millivolts here directly translates to milliamps. This is a quick and dirty measurement, but what about understanding what's happening over time? I'm sure the, the Fluke has some nice min and max functions, but it's definitely not configured to be a high speed scope, making millions of samples a second. Thus, enter the Sealy and a quick hack. I've been a big fan of my Sealy Logic 8 for a while, and while it lives up to this name, it's also very useful for making analog measurements. I've hooked up the channel zero to the output of a different amplifier with unity gain. This little development board here is one that is designed by TI to help engineers create their op-amp circuits without having to wait for custom boards. The two inputs to the op-amp is a differential signal off of the, U the microcurrent, which is right here. The positive output here goes to the positive input of the difference amp, and the negative output goes to the negative input of the uh, difference amp. The only other thing that the external op amp needs is just power supply. So I've hooked up to the 3.3 the volts on the Arduino that is feeding this guy. I've also connected the ground connection as well, so this, everything is unified ground. All these connections have been made with wire wrap. If you haven't already, check out my video on wire wrap here on YouTube or on the fundamentals page at circuitdojo.org. So back to my concern. What will this current profile look like over time? All my connections are here, so I'm gonna start my capture of 30 seconds at 10 mega samples per second. Reset the Arduino and watch what happens. The current profile is here. This is just after taking the capture of hitting the reset button and then watching what happens afterwards. You can see that the current profile kind of goes up and it's stable for some time. It actually stays around 78, 80 milliamps. And then once it's actually done changing colors, it goes into the switching mode. This is likely attributed to the fact that the first few seconds are just 100% on RGB LEDs. Once we go outside the scope of the regular RGB and start modifying how long the red versus blue versus green is on, we inevitably get the varying amount of current. So if we, if we zoom in here, we can actually see it's more of a, a sawtooth pattern. And I can make some measurements here. I'll just do peak to peak. And just about lined up. I can get this guy to show up as about 54.7 microseconds, but 18.28 kilohertz. And it's jumping from about 115 milliamps down to about almost zero, about eight. I'm assuming that eight or nine milliamps is actually just the quiescent current of the driver itself. This capture just goes to show how things can seemingly look stable on the outside, look stable to your eye, to your naked eye, things look stable but underneath, they're doing some crazy, wacky things. Both the Sealy Logic 8 and the Microcurrent Gold have been extremely useful in my day-to-day -day work as an engineer. I can't imagine building anything new without them. If you're interested in either one, you can check out the links on the Fundamentals page at circuitdojo.org or in the description box below on YouTube. That's it for this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to check it out. Hope you find that the Microcurrent and the Sealy logic analyzer might be useful for your purposes in the future. For me, I can't build anything without them now. So feel free to go check them out.
buy one, so help support Dave. If he has them for sale, definitely do that. And check out the links below. I've written up a bunch of information on circuitdojo.org slash fundamentals. Everything is there for you to learn about these pieces of equipment. And hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button because there's more videos just like this coming down the road. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.